All right, so this is going to be a really sh short tutorial here on inside of Photoshop how to set up your images for like your your front side and back views, um, and then save them out so that we can get to importing them into Maya to model off of them. Um, this character sheet that I got right here um, was already pretty much drawn to where we didn't have to do really any any assembly to it. Um, so, but what I want to do here is show you, like, if we did have to assemble it, what you want to do. So, you have your image open. If you can't see the rulers, you just want to go under view and make sure, um, rulers is checked and on so that you can drag out guides. And you'll just click inside of the ruler and hold down the left mouse button and just pull your guides. And we want to put guides at where the major, um, like foundation points would be, like the top of the head you know the bottom of the feet just make sure they're pretty much on the money there um, I like to use the bottom of the chin sometimes or maybe where the hands fall um, and um, see now it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, right here now but if we were pulling like an image of the front of a person's face and the side of their face but from different photographs they weren't all assembled on one sheet. I'll show you why we have the guides here. And what I'll do is I'll just, we'll just um, cut him out and paste him back in, and just assume that um, I'll go and actually make him like. Let's say the image was a different resolution or size. So obviously we're not going to be able to. He's much taller and bigger, so we're not going to be able to model off that. So let's just say we pasted this onto our sheet here. I hit control T and with the guides you know I can establish the guides off of one view and let's just say we establish them off of this view right here where his chin would be where his head would be so I'm just lining up the top of the head I've got the head and the chin kinda lined up but the feet aren't really lined up at the bottom there so we're just gonna scale it until we get them lined up and that looks pretty good I'll put him back into place here and we'll just move him around until this, it all matches up and that looks pretty good. Once I do that I want to go to layer, flatten image and just flatten it all down and then I'm going to start cutting apart the model sheet that I put together. So I'm basically going to just kind of do what we just did here. Select the box around him, control X, hit OK, paste him in, over here and just drag another box. And we don't really need a three quarters view. We're not going to model off of that. We're just going to model off the side and the front views. You really pretty much want um, orthographic views front, side, top, back. Um, make sure that we drag it from the outside all the way out here to make sure we get the same size. Cut is on the first image. File new hit OK, we'll paste them in and now I can close out my the original model modeling sheet and I have my front and side just want to go layer flatten image on both because they've been pasted and I'll take the first one and we can just convert it to grayscale it makes it um, much faster to work with than the other apps you know grayscale is really small image file save as I'll save it to my desktop and call it front view and as always for you know Maya to use it efficiently we'll use Targa file format save it out close it file save as and this one is the side view okay um, yeah we're good close it out and basically we just saved out the two set up and they're equally sized so when we place them into Maya here in the next tutorial they'll um, be equal size and we can model off of them